Sky News. Welcome back to Small Business. Well, social media marketing is now incredibly important for businesses, both big and small. And with so many different platforms for social media now, many small businesses struggle to keep up to date and find their customers. Well, Sky News business reporter Harry Frost asked social media marketing consultant Steve Hubbard from the Melbourne-based The Marketing Network whether Facebook and Twitter were the best way to go for small business. I tend to say, you know, the Pareto principle is probably a good way to look at it. Um, so Facebook is king, you know, 14 million plus Australians on Facebook, so there's no doubt about that. Twitter just goes so nicely with it and is very good around placing what area you're actually in. Um, but I guess it just depends on the strategy and also where you are in your business. You know, particularly the marketing network, the LinkedIn side of things is really key. Like for the people that I talk to, because all businesses ultimately are made up of people. <laughs> and LinkedIn is just the best marketing tool from a professional's point of view that you could ever find. So, um, you know, really for me, if I'm interested in doing somebody, you know, doing business or speaking with someone, you know, I might look them up on Google nowadays, you know, the old days of, you know, personal brand and you Google your own name, well, pretty much that's what comes up, LinkedIn. And so LinkedIn is a great way of finding out who's at companies. If you've got their business card and you've been to events, you can actually connect with them afterwards. But the, um, yeah, the opportunity is with LinkedIn at a personal level to really connect. But certainly Facebook and Twitter are the two key um, vehicles. And, and I guess the main one and the main reason I say Facebook 80-20 is because Facebook advertising now is A, very affordable, B, very, very easily targeted within a local area. And I think because it's Facebook and people know there's over a billion people and it's Facebook, you know, um, so they get a bit worried of how do you go about managing that platform. So what I tend to do is work with them on a strategy that says, OK, you need to have a habit of social media, you know, on a daily basis or every second day, whatever that might be. But within that habit, you know, we've got one mouth, two eyes, two ears. So part of that habit is engaging with others, but also within that habit should be one promoted post. You know, don't be scared to promote what it is about your business that is significant and special and that people might be interested in. You talk about having a social media habit there, but with companies that have perhaps got employees who are quite time poor, how can they find the time to post regularly? As one of the things that I guess I talk to people about is the fact that if you're a really good accountant or a really good lawyer, um, I don't dare to think that I can do my own accountant's books or handle my own legal case. Now I have the, I guess, a couple of advantages and so and I guess where um, if you like outsourcing um, social media to organizations such as my own the advantage is you get qualified marketer surrounded by other people in related marketing areas digital and design strategy that side of things and also uh, you know in our instance we have a platform that we actually put people on too but that's probably another conversation but in terms of that all time consuming I guess one of the conversations I have because I certainly started out as a social media marketer with this sense of wanting to teach people how to fish what I learned fairly quickly is that I could fish five times faster than the people I was talking to and so whilst I do encourage and, and like to be able to train people within organizations the issue becomes is that if you're not used to using platforms such as a Hootsuite or um, um, knowing what message you're going to give and knowing what your actual um, objectives are, then the likelihood is that you may, even if you get a lot of likes and you get a lot of um, even engagement, it ultimately may not improve your bottom line on your business and ultimately, let's face it, all marketing and communications, if you're business related, presumably comes back to the fact that you wanted have some return on investment. So if someone in your office is spending six hours on Facebook and they can't tell you that as a result of that six hours on Facebook um, you've had X amount of phone calls or inquiries or sales um, or sales leads, then really that six hours, as you said, would probably be a waste of time. With so many companies now out there using social media, how does a business make its own particular forms of social media stand out from the crowd? So in terms of making your social uh, stand out, it's like any good marketing. So what we tend to do is start with the brand itself. You know, ultimately, who are you? You know, what's your offer? 
and um, who, are you, who are your customers, who are you targeting. So in terms of if you don't know those three things to start with, there's an old saying in advertising that good advertising makes bad products fail faster. <laughs> so effectively you kind of got to know who you are and what your offer is going to be. Then obviously if you're going to get on social media in the first place, well make sure that it's on brand, you know, and one of the things, you know, whether that's your cover picture, your, your profile picture, your tabs along the page, and obviously that's the design side of things, but on message, you know, what is your local business all about and why are you unique? You know, you're trying to use a, a tool there to be, you know, to, to gain some competitive advantages and let your community know why you are unique. And so I guess in terms of the way you can get ahead is by making sure that you know the messages you provide are of some value to the people that are going to read them. Um, that the design is of a design that's going to attract them to your site. That you're going to engage. That you're not just going to be one mouth talking the whole time. But if someone likes something that you write or makes a comment, that you're going to respond. You know that you're going to basically engage because you know marketing ultimately two two things. You know it's about acquiring customers. But let's face it, once you've got customers, you want to keep those customers. Steve Hubbard, thank you for joining us today on Sky News Business. Thanks a lot, Harry.